Itark Toad. In the last episode, we were still ascending Ganon's Tower. In this episode, I thought it would be amusing to look at the story in the game since we're about to beat the game. I saw a little bit of the title scroll while I was loading up here and it looked funny. Episode 3, A Link to the Past, Randomizer. After mostly disregarding what happened in the first two games, that's as far as I read. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> Link awakens to his uncle leaving the house. He just runs out the door. Into the rainy night. Cannon has moved all the items around Hyrule. You will have to find all the items necessary to beat Cannon. I have, hopefully. This is your chance to be a hero. Let's get the seven crystals to beat Cannon. I have. Hello Ganon, not Ganon, Aganon with a skull. Look at this Stalfos on the throne. <laughs> it is your time to shine. Also, you need to defeat this guy <laughs> twice, apparently. All right, I'll meet you back in Ganon's Tower. Hello, welcome back to this game. I already said that in the intro when we watched the intro to this game in the intro to my video. I think I figured out what to do in this room. All right. Great success. Okay, now bow and arrow. Because these guys are the bang. Oh, I can't shoot from the doorway. Oh, how did I? Oh, because he was facing away from me, probably. Mayhaps. Oh, I can shoot over the fire guys. 300. <laughs> if I had not found that, I don't know what. Or that one. I was wondering where that last red 5 rupee was going to be. What? I have two keys. Why do I have two keys? This... This is the room. Okay, there was a room where I threw a bomb on the conveyor belt, and Glacier pointed out that I did not have to do that. I could use the Wand of Magicness, but that I would have to do the bomb thing later, and I think this is what he was referring to. So, we got to see the moving bomb explosion again. Alright, how do I get past this guy? Like that. Me thinks. Look at that, I can solve puzzles with the greatest. Also, he told me these, the uh, the bunny beams, give fairies too. I, I didn't see another fairy, but I'll take the one I got. What have we here? Ooh, nice. That was much needed. What have we here? I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> well... There we go. I can beat the game now. I guess it's a good thing I have two keys then. Hey, look! It's Tofu Dorm. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm blanking out here. I don't think I need anything other than the sword to fight Dorm. Dorm McNorm. That guy, yeah. Okay, excuse me, sir. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Wow, that was that a two hit? Oh yeah, I need the hook shot. That's right. Um, I can't open the menu. There we go. What are you gonna get me? Nice. Okay, Let's see if I can use this trick. Nice. I learned strats from the best. 
Oh, this is the room. Okay, well, there we go. I got you. It only took a conveyor belt's worth of power to do so as well. Goodness. Oh, nice. He just walked right into it, and I'm okay with that. Oh my. Up, oh, I'm out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. I don't know why I keep saying that. Oh, okay. Nice. Turns out all I needed was a conveyor belt and ice physics to defeat those guys. Oh, this looks penultimate. See if there's anything for which I should be searching. Well, this is a four room. A four up. It fits within a, a two by two grid in the square there, the flashing square. That's what I mean. If you look down at floor six to the right of the red square, there's a four by four room. Okay, well, I think this is the door to Aggie McNaggy. So, yeah. Hey, Ag. Christina Aganem. Oh, what am I doing? I am not paying attention to what I'm doing. Awesome. All right. So let's hook this up. Uh, let's not do this properly. I'll get this. <laughs> I'll get this. See? See me getting this? Nice. I like it when it works out that way. I like it when it works out that way too. I like it when it works out pretty much any way actually. I think I got him with the one. I think I heard the boom. I don't know, I keep the game term down pretty low actually when I'm playing it. I mean the music's pretty loud but the sound effects not so much. Nice! I actually wasn't expecting that to hit him. Owie. Alright, come on. Christina Aganam. That's his new name as far as I'm concerned. Whoa, that was kind of cool with the shadows coming at him. Oh! Uh, apparently Ganon's a pig but a bat. Oh, Flamey just summoned itself. Yes, dive bombing bats. My favorite of the bats. Well, let's see here. How many of these doth I have? <laughs> that should be fine. Alright, so... I will need this here. All right, well, let's try this. With all of my hearts, I could have gotten that fairy in the built in the in the tree downstairs, eh? So you thought you might like to go to the show to feel the warm thrill of confusion that space cadet glow. Yes, that is exactly what I was thinking, Ganon. How do you read my mind so? I mean, I've always thought of myself as a space cadet flow. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Apparently, neither does Ganon. Isn't there a thing you can do? Whoop, that's not the hook shot. To, to not get hit by fireballs? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I can't hit you right now. Oh, I, I can get hit, though. That is not... A useful pot there we go all right let's try that again because that was amusing <laughs> array hook shot you are my best friend <laughs> why is that so amusing i'm not even trying to dodge it anymore oh i can hit you in this state excellent oh he he seems to have entered a different state no maybe not huh eh? Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't fought Ganon in so long. I 
All right. I don't know how many hits he takes. For some reason, the, the number 10 is popping up. Oh, okay. He's doing something else now. I think this is when I need to light the lamp. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I fought Ganon like twice in my life, maybe. Excuse you with your bat. Bat circle. I don't know. I guess I just never really thought of Ganon as being a particularly difficult boss. I mean, I'm sure I've died to him before, but he he doesn't really stand out to me as the most threatening of bosses. I did, actually. I found them rather early. Oh, well. Ah, uh, that was me falling off. What? Okay, I did not realize falling off would entirely restart the battle. That is awesome. What is the point of this room? Oh, probably for fairies and such. No? I don't even want to talk to you. You know, just sahashi washi no bashi, you need to leave me alone. Okay, well, I can get my fairy now. That was rather annoying. Give me my fairy. I'll just dodge through your spears. Don't mind me. I'm actually going to go get some potion refills because why not? I'll take that heart as well <laughs> and top that off. Um, excuse me, Cabbage Patch. I am disapprove of your actions. Yeah, so there we go. Let me grab a few more of those. See, look, those red rupees came in useful after all. I think that was all I used, or it not. Uh, no, it wasn't, actually. Yeah. I can't think of anything else I need. So, wait. Well, I don't even think you can bird to the castle anyway, so I'll just go back over there and I'll... I'll meet you in Casa del Ganon in Un Momento. Come on, Toad, you have the level 2 gloves. You should be able to walk with a giant rock over your head. What's wrong with you? Big Ron would not be proud of you. <laughs> nope, should I get it? Yep, gotta get it. That's, that's gonna help me win the fight against Ganon. Wait, why did the bird come to me in the dark world? The bird doesn't work in the dark world. I call hacks. Can I come in from this side? I can. Excellent. It's a good thing I have the mirror equipped when fighting Ganon. Uh, this one, why not? Oh, do you want to you wanna talk about my cadetness? Glow, not flow. I'm not trying to hit you with my sword beam. I'm trying to hit you with my beam beam. My beam beam? Yes, my beam beam. Ah. Ganon, why you gotta be so squishy? Honestly. Why I gotta run into you every time? Honestly. I kill you. I don't kill you. I don't kill you. You just calm down. Gan the man. Gan's labyrinth. Ah. That was rather untimely of yourself. Or perhaps re timely. What? Yeah, I don't really have much to say about the Ganon fight. <laughs> did you? Yes, I did. Why are you telling me how to defeat you? Ah, poop. Ah. Dang it! He's too fast!
I guess I can only get one hit in on him. Oh, that's rather close to the hole. Probably by design. Come here, sir. I I would I would like if you would not be so uncooperative, Mr. Gannon of the Dwarf Variety. Ah! What is it, three arrows or five? I don't even remember. No, wrong way, Toad. Come on, Toad. Honestly. What is wrong with you? Honestly. I'm, I'm pushing the wrong buttons all over the place here. Whoops. Oh, hello. Get out of my way. Okay, it must be five. Or four. <laughs> Is that it? Oh man, look at my long stick of butter on top of a... Actually, it looks like a candle. <laughs> Blomp. Is that it? Well then. Everybody knows I'm a talking plane VT randomizer. I am winner. That was the name I input at the beginning of the game, of course. I mean, because that's what I am. So, I haven't ever watched the full outro for one of these. I have heard there are humorous statements based on the locations of random items. Oh, was I supposed to push a button there? I, I pushed up and it went away. So let's see what these amusing things are. Yeah, Toad. You lift that Triforce. Forget Link. You deserve it more. Maybe it'll help you with your uh, chronic smoking problem. The two towers. What? <laughs> the two towers. Wow, King Hyrule. You look strange without a nose. The loyal priest. Sanctuary. Sahasrila's homecoming. I, I, Sarara's homecoming. <laughs> Can't <crack> get down. <laughs> Sarara. -ra. Oh gosh. Actually, like I said, Sarara. -ra -ra. <laughs> Voltaire's rule the desert. Desert palace. Oh, there's the the chest man guy. I don't even remember what he gave me. I know what he gives you in the base game. The bully makes a friend. Mountain tower. Is that what the bouncy guy looked like in the light world? Your uncle recovers your house. Can't you see the family resemblance? <laughs> Toad is reunited with Mario at last. Little love for sale. I guess that was a hard piece. Zora's waterfall. Oh yeah. Zora's would change a lot in the next game. Blend fungus into bombs. <laughs> yeah, that that was an and useless side trip, to be sure. Twin lumberjacks, woodsman's hut. Very humorous. Thought it might mention the thing behind the house in the cave. Boy, boy has lunch again. <laughs> Did grow? <laughs> I don't remember what he had. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire, wishing well. Yeah, she didn't do anything fancy. She just gave me some strange bomb and arrow number upgrades. The Dwarven Breadsmith. <laughs> the Breadsmith. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it does. Like, he's making an Italian loaf there. Funny, funny. The Piggy Bank Kid. Oh, I never chased him down. He doesn't. Does he give you an item in the game? I can't even remember. I think he just dogs to you. I don't remember for sure. Hey lady. Hey the sick kid's well and apparently I gave him his net back before I went to visit my uncle. The lost old man 
Death Mountain. Goodbye, old man, also known as the switch blocks in the dungeons, the forest thief. Aren't there several forest thieves? What is up with the strange dancey guy with the glasses on? Yeah, Harumph indeed. Oh, he was the one that gave me a bunch of items. <laughs> and the arrow boost sleeps again forever. Gotta love that sleeping arrow boost. I never did pull the arrow boost out of the pedestal, so perhaps it still sleeps forever. Is that it? Oh, okay, there is more. Alright, well, my thoughts on this game. This version of A Link to the Past with the randomizing component I think makes the game way better but I think you should play the base game first the reason I think it's better is because it brings back feelings of the first Zelda game where you just get dropped into a world and have to go find everything and you have to know how the items work in order to use them in certain areas well not necessarily know how they work but experiment understand the game, know that you can burn bushes and all that stuff in the original game. And to me, this was like playing the original game again. Uh, be quiet, phone. Uh, and it was fun. I've heard people say that Zelda 1 was a Nintendo Power game, meaning that you needed Nintendo Power in order to beat it, but I intentionally did not use any walkthroughs when I played through the game for the first time and I did not get stuck anywhere in the game so I think the game is beatable that way and I like it I like that the game doesn't hold my hand I think it would be awesome if other games in the Zelda series which did have hand holding would allow you to turn that mechanic off and give you a more Zelda 1 feel. And essentially that's what Randomizer did with Link to the Past. I think there's also a mode called Open Mode where you don't even have to go down into the dungeon and see your uncle first. And also there's a mode where you don't always get a sword from him. And I think that would be interesting, but I kind of like having a primary weapon. Wow, that's quite a name there. Fluff Guck. Okay, here we go. The performance. I, oh, wow. I missed uh, 16 chests. And whatever other is, I missed 12. All right. X items. I, I missed the cape and ether. That's what um, Lysir told me. All those, all those. I missed two shield upgrades. Capacity. Okay, I missed three of those. Two of the. Wow, I was really close to having all the hearts. I missed a heart container as well? Hmm. How could I miss a heart container and heart pieces when I was on one away from max capacity? Item locations checked everywhere, everywhere. Okay, I missed, I got one extra one in Tower of Hera. Okay, that's interesting. I missed one, yeah, I thought I missed one in Swamp Palace. I think I know where it was too. It was one room where you had to push a block. Skull Woods, yeah, I was trying to get out of there as quick as possible. Misery Mire. <laughs> yeah, you can go to Misery Mire. Missed one in the Turtle Rock. I think I know which one that one was too. Missed 10 chests in Ganon's Tower. Wow. <laughs> Level 4 Sword Boss is 8. Yes, yeah, because I got it pretty early. Locations pre boots 143. Wow. Number of bonks 20. Not that high. Screen transitions 997. Total rupees. Mm. Thought it'd be more than that. Save and quit, 35. Death, 8. I thought that would be higher as well. Time and menu, an hour? <laughs> okay. Total time, 7 hours and 47 minutes. Wow. Was I playing it that long? Well, this is the 21st episode, so whatever 24 is times 7. Uh, th 7? What? 30? Between 15 and 30 minutes per episode. So, everybody's been talking playing A Toad to the Past. 
In the next episode, I'll be playing a different game. And that game will be, as chosen by my newest subscriber, Donkey Kong Country. Thanks for watching.